Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, MC Crawl here. And today we are going to go with a tutorial on how to build zippers. Um, there are a couple designs out there. Um, some of them are pretty bulky uh, for multiplayers, uh, multiplayer servers. Um, the one on the right you see here is uh, the, your standard single player design. And the one on the left is my uh, variable uh, speed design. Um, the purpose of it is to allow you to adjust the speed of the zipper so that if you're on a laggy server or if you're on a server that is not uh, in your country, <laughs> um, then that one's going to be your best bet. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at these and see how they run start with this one this is your standard zipper make sure I'm not fly mode you just step on the pressure plate and up you go as you can see that's that is as fast as you can get a zipper to go so that's that design and this is just the reset and this one is practically the exact same speed as the other one. As you can see, it's extremely fast still. Um, that is with uh, the setting as uh, fast as it can go. Alright, now I'm going to show you guys the uh, variable speed part of it. Uh, as you can see, I have this uh, colored. The blue blocks on the right is basic, are basically just the two sections that control the pistons. Uh, there is a repeater and a piece of redstone. Uh, you absolutely have to have a piece of redstone and a repeater because the redstone needs to go directly into that piston and it needs to power that one below. If you were to do that, it wouldn't work. Sorry, it just it doesn't. I've tried and every other one will work only the piston that is uh, adjacent to that block will work um, and then the yellow section is my variable speed uh, vertical wiring um, it's very compact uh, 3 by 2 and this is what is the adjustable part right here these repeaters um, the power goes in like a little swirly loop as it goes up uh, so you just set this. We'll just set these to three. So I can show you guys exactly the difference. I personally like to have a little hatch or some sort of maintenance uh, door or something to get back here. Put some ladders on the side. Also, when you adjust those in the back, you have to adjust something else down here, too. And I'll show you guys that in a little bit. But pretty sure I need to adjust that to two. I'll run a test. I can see that it's super slow. Let's slow this down by one more. Maybe that'll do it. Nope. That is definitely too close together. Maybe I went the other way with it. <laughs> Two. There we go. There we go. I like that. Let's test that out. There we go. And, uh, yeah. So that's the variable part. Um, chances are that will work pretty much any server. Three tick. I have one guy who has uh, extremely bad latency, and that's because his internet is also bad. So it doesn't help that he has bad internet, and he's from Europe. So it's like, eh. um, but yeah, that's just how it is. Okay, so I'll go and explain the units down there. And then, uh, yeah. 
So my design actually requires uh, four deep to shell it and uh, 40, 16 wide. So it's four deep, 16 wide, as opposed to a standard, which is uh, five, 10, 11, 12 wide and three, three deep. Okay, so mine's not too much longer. Fit can fit in a fat, flat <laughs> space. Um, this yellow uh, unit, vertical unit, can be turned in any manner. It, you can even possibly store this one and this one completely behind this section. So if you want to minimize it, like the width, but you don't mind the depth, you can you can change it. All right, so let me go over some wiring down here real quick. Kind of explain this. Uh, that's that button and this pressure plate are linked. They both go into my monostable circuit. Uh, my monostable circuit is here to represent a button length pulse. And the reason uh, we have that is because when you're standing on that pressure plate, you actually stand on it for longer than what this button press would be. So uh, we need to make sure that it only uh, that that pressure plate only goes on for the about the same amount of time as a regular button pulse, and that's what this does. So then it goes from there into my T flip flop. I'll make sure to put a link up for you guys. Uh, and then from the T flip flop, it goes into our uh, vertical uh, variable timing. Um, same here. Okay. So, and I will, don't worry guys, I'll go over building the underside with you and all that good stuff. Alright guys, now over here, this is the uh, standard one. The vertical wiring is pretty basic. You guys should know by now how to run wiring vertically. Um, power goes into this block, de uh, depowers this torch, then powers this block, which depowers this torch, so on and so forth, and then you get this effect. And that's as fast as you can get those to go. Um, with this one, it's a little bit different. I was running some tests here. This should be redstone. And uh, yeah, this is just a simple setup how I had here. I think I had to slow it down. Put this tick to one. There we go. All right. And like so. In fact, I can actually run this over to here and find out which one is faster. So if I put a repeater here, and it goes into it like that. Set it to two. You guys can see that the timing is practically identical yep so on the fastest setting which is one tick on these repeaters uh, uh, yeah on the repeaters uh, it makes it identical in speed that is awesome the only reason yeah the only reason that this starts later is because I'm running into this section if I were to just eliminate that that and just run it into this power directly then we wouldn't even have this problem. That's technically where I should start my power anyways. But, whatever. Oh, wait. Oh, that was pointless. Okay, so there we go. Now let's move on to making these. Uh, I've already made this tutorial once, but it ran on for way too long, so I'm going to do it again. Alright, guys, here we go. Um, first thing you want to start with is basically the center area where you are going to be raised vertically. Um, you want to start with a uh, a stationary staircase and a uh, pressure plate. And then from there, you want to go out two blocks and two blocks. That's where you want to start with your um, variable, well, your timing, your vertical wiring, so to speak. Um, so at, at this point, you want to put a torch on the side of that block, put a, um, another block on top, 
and a torch and then you just repeat the process however high you need to go I'm gonna cut it here and I'm gonna finish this up on this side you want to uh, you want to do opposite of that side so instead of putting a block right there you want to put it on the opposite side so like that so basically you're just starting opposite so two blocks and then you have another block with the uh, torch on it this size two blocks airspace and then a block alright guys I'm gonna finish running this one and I'll be right back alright guys now that you have your power uh, set up uh, first thing I suggest is getting all of the torches that are on the inside uh, depowered makes it easier to work with I've already had a previous setup here so just gonna place a torch down there to get that side depowered this side's good uh, now we want to place our uh, pistons so you just place your pistons against all the uh, torches oops I want to get that one and the blue blocks run every single one didn't I get that depowered oh that's because I still have my wiring down there so I'm just gonna stick it to the side there make it easier on me that's not where how we're gonna leave it though all right now you want to put your stairs. All right. Um, well, what well, this is just about as high as we're going to make it here. And all right, now we are going to uh, do the wiring down there. Uh, just so you guys know that this, the way this side works is this torch powers the piston in front of it and the piston uh, diagonal from it up um, because it powers the block above it which is adjacent to that one it will not power a block below it so this one will not power this block uh, you want them to power in pairs and you want them to power uh, on um, opposite each other you want them to power in pairs opposite so this one this one right here is going to push by itself so when you're standing here this first one is going to push you in push you on top of this block then this this pair it's going to push you on top of the one that was just extended. And then so on and so forth all the way up. Alright, and uh, so yeah, let's get to the wiring. Alright guys, uh, because the amount of limited space down there, um, the first thing you want to do is make sure you get these powered properly. So just move these down, like get a block under here to power this section. Um, and same with this side, get a block down here to power this section. Um, the reason we do that is, uh, sorry about that, my bird, he's a little crazy. Um, the reason we do that is so we know when we're down here, we're working with, we're not interrupting those two. So, and then after that, next thing you want to do is get your power situated, your uh, incoming power. So, um, this is where I have my button. Um, you guys put it whatever you want. All right. So now that that's centralized, we want to move this down and right there and put it into a monostable circuit. Uh, I use a button pulse length uh, monostable circuit because, uh, well, as I explained earlier with the uh, pressure plate, um, I like to go four and then three. You put torch on top on the first block of the input. Then you line. What did I hit? Uh, then you line the top with uh, redstone, and you put a torch on the outside. And then we want to go into a T flip flop. All right. So then we send our power up to that. That is that one. And then we put. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Where can we go from here? Let's go out this way. This way and all the way to this one. 